anyway, there's a lot of things like um, like the SS or LS. Uh, actually, I think it might be the LC Rodney or whatever. Um, but uh, like the battleship that has 16-inch guns, whatever. It's actually a modern-day battleship and all that other stuff. And there's actually three uh, Rodneys, actually. Um, battleships. They changed the name to the Nelson class, uh, <laughs> wedgie class, uh, battleship group because, um, well, there's actually, it's it and it's sister ship that can both fire upon one target. It actually uses the global positioning system or the, or the bit that the satellites give off and also the, um, and also a radio signal and other stuff to be able to range to targets. So you could actually call in uh, arc light position, uh, blah, 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 where, where you think you are. And then it does the range to you from both, from both it and its sister ship. And then it can fire, fire a, a square, a, a five pattern or whatever. So it and its sister ship can talk, talk together and basically boom, 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 uh, and all fire on one target. And then basically you're gonna, you, you, you can hit one spot up to 50 times or within five feet of each other or you can hit um, multiple targets. Anyway, in a pattern. So anyway, um, mostly I use this on Panama to break rock and all, all, all that kind of stuff. But, um, and mostly it was just for like mining and stuff like that. They're really good mining ships. And that's what we use cannons for, basically. Not really war, but they do make good war machines, I guess. Um, anyway, there's lots and lots and lots of stuff that both Rodney, uh, my supposed father and other people wanted to suppress because the truth of of, of everything um, makes them look really bad and makes and and shows them to be liars and basically the whatever that they are um, or someone to be psycho and whatever because um, like I say it all basically everything points to basically me Lucifer Star that's my name Lucifer Star uh, with an S <clears throat> SS. Anyway, um, so, which is why they also call ships later on SS, actually. It's my initials. Um, and there's all these things. Uh, and anyway, though, and the, and the Hubble Space Telescope, we, we, we could actually see one galaxy getting closer and closer and closer and closer to us this whole time from the ground. Uh, you could kind of see it. But from space, the Hubble Space Telescope, you could really see it. Ah! <laughs> Which is why they, they, they actually purposely, probably more like digitally, made sure everything was blurry. Um, because they wanted to try and hide it and cover it up that, that there was, in fact, one galaxy getting closer and closer and closer until they could somehow how say before I said it. Because I told them flat straight out in, um, in like 1960 or some year that there was going to be a galactic flyby. Um, first time ever by me, LS, Lucifer Star. I had arranged the matter in such a way, and we had done it so it was actually going to be attracted to the Milky Way so to make sure that it would pass by this galaxy and not some other galaxy. And basically, we <laughs> so fucking cool, it's not even funny. Um, and so, like, Nixon and, uh, and all the fake presidents are like, no, <laughs> because they're basically living inside of, inside of my White House. And they are actually evicted in, like, in, like, 1960 or something. They got the eviction notice posted to the White House front door. Because <laughs> I was like, could you please get out of my house since you actually can't pay for rent the rental of the house, which is, like, 4000 or $5,000 a month. And the Republicans technically didn't have any money. Uh, John McCain and Richard Nixon, and they were all living inside of in, inside of houses, just saying that they were congressmen, which actually means to have sex with, and not actually anything to do with government. To congress in the past meant to, if you look it up in the old dictionaries, it says to have sex with, or to pass through. Basically, it does not have, to have anything to do with government or anything else like that. And in fact, they were not governors. They were technically uh, under the classification of play testers or people testing out the environment um, and testing out the women as well. Uh, mostly for, by forcibly, by, for, by force though. So, and that was the part that was really the real big problem was, was mostly congressmen were, were actually forcing sex onto women. And they were actually, in fact, even, even pressuring women out of positions like courthouse and also out of positions like, um, like police departments to try and basically be able to control the, uh, the, the, the world. 
Because if only men were in power, then men would support men. And you'll support your brother man, your brother, or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, craziness. So anyway, there's all this stuff going on, basically, where, where basically a lot of men are basically trying to force out women out of positions of, of, of co the courts and positions of, of, um, of, of like police departments because of the fact that women, well, I mean, they, you know, they don't, they, they can have sex all they want. So they don't really need power or, a, or a badge to basically be able to be like, Hey baby, why do you say we go out back and you don't have to go to jail tonight? Yeah. You know, which is pretty much what they were doing. Uh, which is basically running around like a, like, like, a, like, like, like a hose fighting contest, you know, basically, um, being able to come up, getting steroids, basically, and if you were in the in the inner circle, you could have your access to drugs, steroids, and also firearms and pulled profess, which was the club, which which is what they called the clubhouse or whatever else like that. They had this group that they called the clubhouse or whatever, and this is all Nixon, JFK, John McCain, probably somewhat Rodney, where it's drugs, sex, and all kinds of other stuff, of which of course I'm not a party of because well. Technically, you know, it's my planets. Anyway, there's all this stuff that they're like, no, because otherwise it's like, well, I am the superstar, and it was very clear, and the other galaxy actually knows me, as well as 800 other galaxies. And it's going to be here in about 680 trillion years, and it's expecting to, 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 to find me here, because they knew me. They know me over there. I've been over there. So anyway, all the things that Rodney and a bunch of other people are like, oh, because, I mean, they're looking for their Lucifer star, their creator. Because I created them as well, as well as the Gibb Milky Way and 800 other galaxies. So this is all stuff that I don't really care about. It's like, well, it's true, but and it's not really my problem. It's everyone else's problem. Because they know me, and lots of life forms here knew me. And lots of life forms know me on other galaxies. LS spaceship and all that stuff. And technically, I, I think you can't even get close. They were going to go and take over the other galaxy or some shit like that. But technically, you can't even get close to it because I think it violently interacts po po possibly with our particles. Because we're positively charged and they're negatively charged. And that's what actually gets them to, 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 to be attracted together over great distances of space. Like I said, at, a, at 100 trillion years apart, that's so much space and, and difference that there's not much of a pull to actually get it to want to come together. Anyway, so, anyway, and they are just ever so slightly, but what was alarming them was it was actually seeming, this one was actually seemingly to speed up faster than, than we were. I mean, technically, the, we're, we're being attracted together. And anyway, it's all stuff that's like, well, it is this way. Anyway, I don't really care. It's like, um, not my problem. I'm on vacation. I'm Lucifer Star on vacation. So that'd be Rodney's problem, Rick Bush's problem, uh, the problem of the White House and uh, Trump's problem and a bunch of other people's problem. I don't really care. I'm just Lucifer Star. So, which technically I was known as Brian within my country when I named America. And from that point on, I was an, I was an American citizen as Brian. Yay. Possibly the first American citizen. So anyway, I don't really care. It's like, well, this is the way it is. Anyway, though, but that's why the Hubble Space Telescope was was basically blurry image, and also why um, why why it actually the gyroscopes actually wore out from use uh, before they were actually letting um, pictures from it be posted to the web or posted or known about throughout. The, they considered everything from Hubble basically national security and top secret because of the fact that it showed off one galaxy clearly getting closer. Um, and supposedly we're supposed to be going apart from everything, but this one's seemingly going like this. So, which is kind of like abstract from the way the scientists and everybody else was lying about it being, being true. So, and like I say, it's not really my problem. It's someone else's problem because they've been lying to the public this whole entire time. And it's like, well, you, this is something you're going to find to be true that one galaxy is like. Anyway. And has been for the past uh, 100 trillion years. So, anyway, whatever. Good luck with that.